This for trophies in the high school football playoffs. Undefeated records are put on the line. Allen Park 10-0, hosting 9-1 Romulus in our Leo's Coney Island game of the week. Tonight, the only thing breaking in Allen Park is that banner the guy's running through. Romulus quarterback Jalen Tatum mishandling the snap. A little foot wedge from the defensive end, and Allen Park scoops it up. On the ensuing drive, the offense starts cooking. Allen Parks, Reed, Paf, Hoosen takes it and makes all kinds of people miss. Jags go up two scores. Still in the first half, Antonio Magnapon going up top. Little fake, shimmy, and bada boom, bada bang. Wide open to Allen Park. Up 20 to nothing, getting tricky. Magnapon to Ryan Fish. It's a double pass. He's going deep to Alex Hinojosa. Allen Park grabbing control of our game of the week and never letting go. 34 zip to final. It was a big, big win. You know, uh, last year we made it to the uh, regional final game and came up a little bit short. And the goal this week was to get back there and play physical football. So it was, it was real big. It's really cool. It's really neat for the, uh, for the fans, the kids. They're excited all day in school about it. Uh, just, we're, just, we're just proud to have you guys here, and it was, it was an honor. Yeah, and a great job in his head coaching debut this season. District trophies handed out all night. Let's bring in Justin Rose with more. Hey, Brad, yeah, this is the time of the year where the senior-led teams show why they've made it this far. Two lost Canton trying to pull off the upset of undefeated Celine. Game tied at 17 and a half, but in the third, the seniors for Celine showed up. Check out the play by quarterback Zach Schwarzenberger. Looking off the defense, then finding Bryce Wolma. Look at the moves with Wolma. He goes all the way in the end zone. Cuts back to the sideline. Very nice. 24-17. But the Canton rushing attack, they're hard to stop. Fourth and goal from the one. Julian Thornton pushed through for the tying score. But in the fourth quarter, Celine takes control. They used a fake punt to set up Schwarzenberger on the keeper. Canton gets the touchdown to pull it closer. But Celine recovers the onside kick, and that is your final. They'll get the winner of this one between Cast Tech and Dearborn. Under a minute left in the first half, Cast Tech, Rodney Hall, full Cam Newton, Superman from the goal line, 17-0 technicians at half. Dearborn trying to get back into this one. Dial up the quarterback sneak. Michael Phillips cuts the lead to 17-7, but Cast Tech, well, they're really, really good. So is this kid. Jalen Kelly Powell, 14-yard run would set up a touchdown. Cast Tech moving on, 24-7. Brett? All right, staying in Division I, Southfield a and hosting West Bloomfield. In the second quarter, Southfield already up seven. Lorenzo McCaskill, get used to that name, breaking free. 56 yards of daylight, puts Southfield up 14. More offense, same team, same half. This time it's John Darby going to the air, hitting Brandon Gary right into your living room and into the end zone. The home team cruising. Final seconds of the first half, McCaskill looking for his second touchdown and nobody's stopping them. 48 yards this time in for the score. Southfield wins big, 41 to six. More action around the area. The Red Wings hosting Gordy Howe night. Number nine's kids dropping the puck at center ice. How the Wings finished and more next when we continue.